Adobe Photoshop 2024 is packed with new features that leverage the power of artificial intelligence to boost creative potential and streamline workflows. You can create stunning, lifelike images with new generative AI features. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Design Dynamo. Today's video tutorial, we are gonna learn the new features of Photoshop 2024. Before starting to watch this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe my channel Design Dynamo. Hit that bell icon so you never miss any upload from my channel. So let's get started. Remove background is available in Photoshop beta. You can swap out your scene with any background with the help of remove background tool. So go to downside here, you will see the remove background option in the contextual taskbar. So simply click on it. And with the help of remove background tool, you make complex edits in a few steps. And uh, you can replace a background with whole new settings and give your images a natural custom look. So here, right, uh, I'm just going to generate a background, hit that and write a prompt whatever you want to create the I write scenic mountain nature along the Garlos Alpine Road and hit generate and uh, it will replace the background with whole new settings lighting which is matches your image and uh, give your image a very natural look here is guys you will see uh, the options here Generative Fill is the groundbreaking tool lets you create selections in your image and use text prompts to fill those areas. Photoshop uses AI to understand the image content and generate realistic and cohesive elements that match the style, lighting and perspective of your scene. You will find Generative Fill in the downside. You'll see this contextual taskbar, select the Generative Fill option and write the prompt here and hit generate and it will give you three options. You will find these options in the properties panel. The new advanced generative fill is available in Photoshop beta. For example, we are going to create some water reflections. So we are going to select this area. And here I'm going to generate uh, some water reflections. So by using generative fill in Photoshop beta. So here I'm going to type a prompt water with reflections.
and it will create a stunning image with powerful advanced technology of Photoshop AI. The next new feature of Photoshop 2024 Beta is an adjustment brush tool. This is a new feature in beta versions of Photoshop and it is allowed users to make local adjustment to images by painting with different adjustments. So here uh, we locate these adjust So we locate the adjustment brush tools under the standard brush tool and the short key is uh, B. Here you will find this adjustment brush tool. And uh, here uh, you will see in the contextual taskbar the brightness and contrast so you can lighten or darken specific areas of your portrait to enhance its feature very quickly. So I'm going to paint over these and here you will see a property panel quickly uh, appear and you can change uh, the brightness and uh, contrast easily from here. And you can apply next you can apply paint uh, on the hair and uh, here you will see you can change uh, it from levels and here you will see in the layer panel the, the second layer is created quickly and you can adjust the levels And you can adjust it quickly by using this adjustment brush tool. Look at this guys before and after in this picture. Just going to select it. The brush tool, adjustment brush tool. And uh, just paint over here. And going to set it hue and saturation. And you have this guys, you'll see you can quickly change the color by using hue and saturation you can change uh, here downside you'll see you can change the overlay effect directly from here another layer just paint over the lips <laughs> now guys uh, you will see how quick it is and you choose any type of adjustments like brightness and contrast, hue and saturation here downside lots of options available here so you can use it uh, levels and all that curves exposure so it's up to you Next feature is the generative expansion. No more awkward cropping. Generative expansion uses AI to seamlessly expand your canvas when you crop an image. Simply choose the generative expand option in the crop tool and Photoshop will fill the new areas with content that realistically blends with the existing image.
The next new feature in Photoshop 2024 is the blur effect. Uh, so you can add optical blur and bokeh effect using lens blur. So here I'm just going to select this image and uh, go to filter and select camera raw filter. And here in the edit section, you will see the lens blur option. To automatically apply the blur using Adobe Sensei, select apply. Once the blur is applied, you can do the following adjustments. Adjust the strength of the blur effect with the blur amount sliders here. You'll select the bokeh effect from the given options like circle, bubble, five blade ring or cat eye. You can adjust the brightness or out of focus light sources with the boost sliders. You can change the focal range to adjust the range depth value that are in focus. Select visualize depth to view the depth map and focal range to make manual adjustment. Select refine and then adjust the focus or blur amount using the brush size feather and flow sliders. In this way, you can easily uh, blur the background or foreground with the help of uh, lens blur option in camera raw. The next new tool is the removal tool. Say goodbye to unwanted objects in your photos. The removal tool uses AI to intelligently remove objects with just a few brush strokes. Simply paint around your object and Photoshop will analyze the surrounding areas and seamlessly fill in the gap. Let's explore the another new feature of Photoshop 2024 beta, which is parametric filters. It is just imagine a bridge between traditional filters and complex editing techniques so in latest photoshop 2024 beta introduces a revolutionary feature parametric filters so this exciting addition empowers you to pre create unique visual effects with just few clicks let's uh, check these filters so how to access these filters you go to filters and here you will navigate the parametric filters and uh, here you will see in the menu bar uh, this uh, parametric filters will open and uh, you can choose there uh, you'll see this panel display a variety of filters which is uh, offer different uh, distinct effect so here you will see different examples like uh, uh, let's we apply do tone and uh, here you will see you achieve a classic do tone look by selecting two colors and uh, downside, you're, you'll see the adjustment parameters. Each filters come with dedicated sliders. Here you will see uh, in the tool panel, uh, so which uh, you can experiment uh, with these controls to fine tune the effect, intensity, color palette, or other uh, characteristics. And there are the settings. So let's check in the properties panel. You can change uh, by default. Uh, there is two colors. And we can change it to different options like cherry, preset, fluorescent. And you can make it your own. like this let's check another parametric filters there is a distortion effect distortion glitch tag effect so these sliders i'm going to change the settings of distance the glitch intensity It's up to you with what type of uh, edit you want. Let's check another effect. 
glass filter now guys it's very easy to apply these effects uh, and achieve uh, traditional filters it is very unique uh, uh, go to editing techniques so uh, there uh, there are a collection of uh, lots of effects so you can use it there is a filter glitch and that another kind of glitch effect just a few clicks you can apply these type of effects like glitch all paint two tone and it's up to you and use these uh, slider settings so you can change adjust the uh, settings and uh, colors and other characteristics glitch angle here is the half tone effect so you can use it uh, different like uh, stripe shape collection and you can change the color it's up to you guys what type of artwork you want and let's check another this is the pattern filter very easy and here in the layer panel you'll see a background copy layer is applied and the smart filter uh, is uh, effect is here and you'll see here in this panel layer panel a new layer is created every time pixelate option how quick it is hologram effect and you can change it, uh, these uh, slider to make uh, more settings vintage effect now guys look at this how quick it, uh, these effect parametric filter you can apply this is the scratch effect oil paint effect no effect you'll find lots of filter here i'll see uh, the rain filter is also available here here this one is the rain filter now guys this is very exciting feature uh make sure you subscribe my channel now guys this is all about how to use uh, photoshop 2024 new features and uh, i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel design dynamo thanks for watching design dynamo